Praise the Lord, Christian friends. Today's devotion is entitled Kingdom Citizenship, and it is taken from the Gospel of John chapter 3 and verse 5. Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. In today's memory verse, Nicodemus did not ask Jesus to tell him how he could enter the kingdom of God. He merely praised him. However, Jesus knew that Nicodemus needed to be shown, like us all, how to get to heaven. So he said, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Jesus knew that any praise that would lead to the kingdom of God must be packaged in the garment of salvation. He once told his audience in Matthew 7 and 21, Not everyone that says unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. The Bible says, By their fruit you shall know them. Matthew 7 and 20. And this confirms that being born again has to be evident. Jesus queried in Luke 6 and 46, And why call me Lord? And do not do the things which I say. Our citizenship is in the kingdom of heaven, and it is based on obedience to the constitution of the kingdom of heaven, which is the word of God, the Bible. Anyone who says the Bible is outdated is obviously no longer a citizen of the kingdom. First John 3 and 7 says, He that doeth righteousness is righteous, even as he, God, himself is righteous. So, answering to biblical names or ministerial titles, those are not requirements for being a kingdom citizen, but rather it is regeneration. It is a new life in Christ, a new life of holiness in Christ. Are you a citizen of the kingdom of God? Make this your prayer. Father, please help me to maintain the requirements of your kingdom and its citizenship. Lord, do not cast me out of your kingdom. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. Be a kingdom citizen. Have a blessed one.